Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mesner Media tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at using smart bins inside of DaVinci Resolve. I was going to make a sexier tutorial, but I was working on a project, and I used some smart bins, and I was like, hey, these are pretty sexy on their own. So, without further ado, let's hop to DaVinci Resolve and get started. Alright, so I've imported some clips here, I've got a timeline happening, everything's looking great, but I want to be lazy and do some, some tricky stuff. So what we can do is uh, this video was shot with three different cameras. So you've got Blackmagic Ursa, we have my buddy's camera, and we have my camera. So you know it'd be pretty easy to set these in bins on our own in this project, but if you have like a big project, you know, this can save a lot of time. So down here you see smart bins. Right click, add smart bin. Now I will name this. Uh let's see for my camera. And now you can assign rules. So what I'm gonna do for this is just do the file name. And I'm going to just type MMC and see we just get all of my camera stuff. And I'll hit create smart bin. And we've got that there. And all of our clips are still in the master. This is just sort of like a little labeling type thing. So you can see how quickly we can get this happening. So let's add another one. Name this parade. You can just sort it by name. Or you can go through and sort it with all of these different things. So duration, resolution, frame. So if you have all like a bunch of 4K clips and a bunch of 1080 clips, frame rate, put your slow motion stuff somewhere. Uh, just all sorts of really good stuff. And on top of that, you can add more rules. So if, say I want that and I want uh, the resolution to be 1920 by 1080. We got all of them right there. And that is just lovely. So hit create smart bin. There we go. And finally, I'll just make the last one here just to finish us out. So this is shot on an Ursa. And you can see we can also search through any of these guys. So if you've assigned metadata in your camera like you can do on the Blackmagic cameras, you can create smart bins super quick. And then of course there's these logic functions in here. So you can have does not contain and contain. So that does the exact same thing as before. That's just sort of showing different stuff. We'll do contains Ursa and create smart bin. And there you go, we've got our smart bins right here. Now from here, I can just go ahead and right click and I can add a quick 3D LUT and I'll just use one of Blackmagic's default here and just get it to Rec 709 because this project goes quick. This was also shot on a Blackmagic cinema camera. So 3D LUT, Blackmagic design, and this guy. And then finally we got the Ursa, so a little bit different color profile. Right click, Ursa Mini technically, Blackmagic design, Blackmagic 4K film to Rec. 709 V2, just like that. So now we've got a nice start. All of our cameras should be basically the same color profile. And just like that, we've basically done, you know, a big part of our shot matching that now I don't have to spend time on, which is fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel. If you want even more excellence, go over to mrmedia.com slash products. Check out the House Lutz pack and the Bright Light Sight League pack, both of which make life easy. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because this will save them a lot of time. Probably. Maybe not. Maybe it'll waste their time. Who knows? They're your friends. You know them. I don't. So, once again, I'm Theo with Mr. Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.